Hey, this is Darnell with day 19 of the carnivore journey, and I just wanted to update you on everything that's been happening with uh, my mental, my physical, my diet, and my exercise. Um, mentally and physically, I'm feeling pretty good. Sorry, there's a squirrel running over there. I feel like a little dog, like, hey, squirrel. Okay, but um, mentally and physically. Mentally, uh, before I started this, uh, I was actually wiped out. Uh, today is business. Uh, my my primary job just absolutely crushed me, so I was mentally kind of tired, but uh, this little vlog thing kind of makes everything fun. All right, physically, I did a run this morning, and I've still been doing the 20 push-ups, sit-ups, and squats every 52 minutes, which turns out to about seven sets because I don't do them um, after lunch, so I kind of miss one in those hour work periods. Um, other than that, what do you think as a person that's been watching these videos is the cause of these massive changes um, I know a lot of people are like oh the carnivore diet I feel amazing and I do feel amazing but why would a shift in food from me just stopping eating carbs um, and some greens because I don't eat a lot of greens maybe like tomatoes and onions and mushrooms and things with my steaks um, but I'm not a big salad eater and I'm not a big fruit and vegetable eater. So why the changes? What do you think it is that makes our bodies react to this so much? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I have a few thoughts, but I'm, I'm not sure. So maybe there's some other people that have done longer studies. One. So diet today was basically the same. It was three pieces of bacon, a third pound of hamburger, three eggs. I did lunch, which was another eight ounce piece of salmon. And then dinner today was some chili. Liver. So I did a half pound of liver. I did a pound of hamburger and I did a pound of top round. And then I just let it simmer for pretty much, let's see, so I started at eight. So I let it simmer from eight until four in the afternoon. Um, and then I took that whole mixture. Uh, I'm sorry, I also had a base in there of some uh, chicken broth to add in all the collagen and some other nutrients. Um, and then I took that whole base, just pulled the scoop out, put it in a bowl with a bunch of shredded cheddar cheese. And those are probably gonna be dinner for today. And we have some friends coming over tomorrow. So um, we'll see. We'll see what they like. One of them's a vegetarian, so it's gonna have some fun conversations. Um, How about that vegetarian and vegan diet? Do you, what do you guys think about that? Is it uh, same thing? Comment below. Is it something that works, that doesn't work, or have you had any experience with it? Have you tried it? And uh, where do you stand on it? I, I'm curious. I think it's it's interesting. I have a lot of vegan and vegetarian friends, and they just seem to have issues. So who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, one. So hey, thanks again for listening to these hopefully short little segments on um, the daily experiences in a carnivore journey and what you should or might be feeling and seeing. I'll have, uh, I don't have actual weight representations, but I do have uh, photos that I'll have somewhere else and I can see it in myself that my face and neck fat and shoulder fat and arm fat is all starting to go away. So that's pretty cool. Give me a like or a dislike. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you're loving. Uh, subscriptions and notifications. And then I will be back tomorrow for a whole nother day. I'm going to keep going for the 30 days. And then I'll put together a small video that covers all 30 days um, so that you can see what happens. And right now I'm also way past halfway, but I'm thinking of doing a little recap of the halfway part and what to expect. All right. Thank you so much for showing up. I hope you have an awesome day and enjoy the rest of uh, your day or night, whatever it may be. Darnell, out.